prison seems like an unlikely place to find the Wall Street Journal and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, but there are those who think teaching inmates the stock market can improve and enhance their image. Dr. Lillian Glass, our communications expert, is here to explain that one for us. Okay. That's right, Jerry. Prison may not be a place one necessarily thinks about where one can improve their total image, but due to the efforts of a very successful Beverly Hill stockbroker, inmates are not only developing a basic understanding of how business operates, but a sense of accomplishment as well. Today we're going to begin the first in a two-part series on how some inmates are improving their total image. Ira Distenfeld is a successful Beverly Hill stockbroker who has a background in business and in criminology. As a result of combining his two fields of expertise, he spent the past 14 years conducting business seminars for inmates in prison. We spoke with him about the program. I simply talk about Wall Street. I talk about business. I relate perhaps some of the rejections they might have had in life to what business is all about. Uh, many times if you get turned down for a salary raise or you get laid off from your job, um, an uninformed person will take that as a personal affront. Mm -hmm. If you understand the problems of business, mm -hmm. then you'll understand why employers make some decisions. And so the main thrust is business and then investing in the stock market. He also brings guest speakers from the business and entertainment fields to talk to the inmates. They've included Jane Fonda, Roy Campanella, Maureen Reagan, and Senator John Tunney. I find that they talk about um, their opportunities, they talk about their adversities, and in some cases, um, they talk about mistakes they've made and have risen uh, after a second chance. And the inmates, I think, could relate to that, that not everyone who is famous perhaps has gotten there from no obstacles along the way. And it's just a great opportunity um, for inmates to learn about Wall Street and also learn about some of the personalities in our cities that they otherwise would just mainly just dream about. Mr. Distenfeld teaches inmates about the stock market by playing with monopoly money. At the end of the class, they cash it in for real money, up to $3,000 per class, which comes out of his own pocket. We asked him why he does it. What I try and do is sell them some self-respect. Wall Street is probably looked upon as a rich man Republican's game. Well, it's not. Uh, it's a game that everyone should be involved in and understand. If I can take an inmate who waits for the funnies every morning and maybe reads the sports section sometimes, if I can teach him what General Motors is all about, um, if I can teach him what the financial pages are all about, when he walks through that prison yard and has a Wall Street Journal tucked under his arm and the correctional officer is looking down from the tower don't even understand what the Wall Street Journal is, that inmate's going to feel better about himself. For the first time, Mr. Distenfield's program is being offered to women prisoners in California. And next week, we're going to take you to Chino Prison and speak with some of the women inmates to find out how this program is affecting their total image. Chris? Okay, Lillian, thank you very much indeed.